All right, so welcome back. This is the second part in our steampunk series, where today we're going to be taking some off-the-shelf uh, steampunk goggles and repur repurposing or making them look uh, a little bit more authentic. Now, I went to a costume shop and bought this pair of steampunk goggles, and they're really cheaply made. I actually paid $15 for them, which is more than they're really worth. They're uh, cheap plastic. They're just welder's goggles, or at least the mold is from welder's goggles, uh, and just made out of a much cheaper plastic and uh, with cheap lenses. So I wouldn't recommend buying these to do any welding with, but that's essentially what they are. If you wanted actually to buy some welder's goggles, you could probably buy a pair of welder's goggles for like $10 and um, just change out the lenses or whatever and repaint them. And you'd have a, a better set of goggles, actually. Uh, another interesting thing about these um, that I didn't discover until I got home was, well, I'm going to put them on, I'll show you what I mean. They look all kind of screwed up. They're uh, all cockeyed. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with these things? Well, it turns out that, and I don't know if they all come like this, if it's just <laughs> the company made them super cheap, uh, but they actually, it's just two right eye pieces. Um, instead of a right eye and a left eye. But it creates a unique opportunity for us to repurpose them even further, and instead of having a set of goggles, we can create like a bionic eye using one and take the other one and make it just a monocle. Okay, real quick, so what I've done so far is I found an Easter egg uh, from last Easter, one of those plastic Easter eggs you could put stuff in, and it had kind of a gold finish to it. It's a really cool reflective gold finish, so I just took the, the rounder end and stuck that into the lens uh, of one of the goggles and put the elastic strap back on it. Let me just give you an idea. So it has kind of a gold ball eye. <laughs> uh, but anyway, you could just put the, the elastic strap that it came with back on, uh, add some detailing to the side using some uh, gears or other uh, ornamental type pieces, um, and call it a day. Uh, I think it would still look pretty cool. Um, it's super fast, cheap, you know, you don't, if you can't find an Easter egg that has a gold finish uh, to it, you could totally just use um, probably one of those vending machine prize containers that, uh, like 50 cents or whatever, uh, that would probably work, that would fit right in. Um, or if you find some other object to stick in there, uh, again, this is all just kind of finding kind of what you can, you have available to you, um, or could find easy or cheap. Um, I'm not gonna leave it there though, I think, I don't wanna have an elastic band, uh, so I'm going to replace the band with a leather one uh, using your scrap leather and possibly maybe put a light uh, in the very tip of it so that um, it does give it more, more of a mechanical eye uh, look. All right, so that's what we got so far. We're just going to keep going. Uh, for the other one, um, I'm going to do something involving uh, this rod and this piece of plastic from, an old, from a, uh, a cheap gun, uh, which we're actually going to revisit. Um, later uh, in this series. But repainted this and attach uh, this somehow uh, to give it kind of a weird monocle, uh, maybe like a, a sight kind of look. And uh, yeah, I don't know, see how that turns out. But that's kind of what I'm going for, for for this one so far.
for this build. But this is what I came up with. Now this is the bionic eye, or mechanical looking eye. Now as you see, it doesn't light up. <laughs> uh, the light that I was going to put in there, right when I was about to install it, the bulb actually burned out. So uh, that's what you get for buying a yeah, cheap dollar store light. But uh, nevertheless, it still came together pretty good. Uh, all these pieces are just little pieces uh, that I had lying around. Um, I can kind of point out to you some of them. So as I said, uh, to replace the lens inside the, the goggle, I used an Easter egg uh, that I bought from last Easter that has a, a metallic gold finish on it. Uh, again, I didn't have time to put the light in uh, because the light that I got broke. It actually still looks pretty cool just as it is. Uh, some of the items I put on here, this is my decorative corner piece. I used this as uh, the beard on the last build on the mask. And then some of these gears here, um, just to kind of add some texture to it. Usually I don't like to use gears unless they actually are serving a purpose. Um, but in this case, I thought it actually kind of made a cool uh, pattern design for the side of the mask. And then this is, uh, this is actually an electrical piece um, from a, a starter that uh, it's a little uh, engine basically that's kind of for a reset switch. I had it left over from my old job. Um, I have a lot of little bits and pieces like that that I just didn't throw away because I like to use them for stuff like this. I've had this piece just kind of sitting around for several years and I finally uh, put it to some use. And this is again just a um, terminal lug, also an electrical part. If you go to your hardware store or something, you'll find it in the electrical department. Uh, they'll come in a packet probably of like two or three and they're maybe $2 uh, or, or two or three bucks for the pack. Uh, this is just a piece of copper wire that I had from a hobby shop. I've got a spool of it lying around that I use for steampunk type builds or um, it's just nice to have. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Uh, like I said, the belt and the strap, the buckles here are just some decorative buckles that I was gonna use on the last build but I wound up not using. Um, I made some eyelets using uh, some eyelets that I got at a hobby store. I have a huge uh, supply of them. And yeah, with some scrap leather and the rivets and uh, some repurposed items. And for the like gun sight eye that I said, uh, again, this is a terminal lug and a piece of uh, brass uh, rod. Actually, that's all that really is. I think it's actually from uh, like a, a toilet repair kit, uh, like, the hand, like the flush handle and stuff. And then this is just a piece of plastic off of uh, a toy gun that I kept because I knew I was gonna use it for something eventually. Um, uh, again, it's one of those things. Uh, so all I did was screw the lug and put a nut on the other side. And this has a kind of a tightening uh, screw there so you can slide the rod through it and adjust it in the length that you want. And then I just, uh, yeah, I was using some screws and some nuts. I just attached the rod to this piece here. And uh, this piece here, that's kind of cool. Uh, that was, I got it, I think, Joanne Fabrics as a package of two of them. Uh, I just bought it because it was a cool looking clasp and I figured I would use it for something eventually. Um, yeah, and some uh, other just rivets and the scrap leather, as I said, and yeah, this is what you're left with. Thanks again for tuning in and uh, leaving comments, suggestions. Um, I'm hoping that I'll have enough time to do the Steampunk Guns build, but I have a whole line of episodes lined up for October, and I was hoping that I was going to have this series done well into September. Um, so we'll see what happens. But again, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys found this entertaining, and uh, I'll see you next time.